Hey everybody, welcome to Kurtzberg Mini Farms. Here we have Jojo, the mini Hertford bull. How tall did we say his hips were? 36, 36 and a half. Yeah. He's 36 and a half inches to the hips. He's about six months old. He is up for discussion. We're ready to get rid of him. He needs to move on to better pastures. He's just uh, not gonna work here on, on our farm with our herd, but he will definitely make a great starter bull for your farm, or if you just need a new bull on your farm, Jojo the mini cow, he'll be perfect for you. Again, he stands about 36 and a half inches at the rear hips. His daddy came in at 37, 37 inches at the rear hip. So his daddy's small too. His mama comes in at about 42, 43, somewhere in there. So I think he'll fall between mom and dad somewhere. As you can see, he's got a pretty good temperament. We started a halter training him. He doesn't like the halter too much, but he's getting used to it. He throws his little temper tantrums, rolls around on the ground like a little kid, but eventually he gives in. But he's a very docile, very calm little bull, and he'll be good for you. Now, one thing I want to share, Jojo, come here, buddy. One thing I want to share about these animals is some people will say miniatures, this is a miniature cow. They're not miniatures. As a matter of fact, Sassy right here, you can see her. She's about the biggest you want to see on a miniature, and she's sitting right at 42 inches, 43 inches at the rear hips. That's about all you want to get. And actually, I like them a little smaller. I like mine around the 38 inch mark. And it's smaller. Again, you can have, so in these mini Hertfords, that's what you want to look for. You want to look for a good stance. You see his shoulders down low in the front. He's got a good higher stance in the back. His demeanor, he's not trying to be mean. He's not trying to do anything. He doesn't like the halter. Hey, come here. Anyways, these are true miniature Hertfords. I know um, when we started our farm, we toured the country trying to find what was truly a miniature. There were lots of people out there or folks out there selling the bigger side of the miniatures, calling them miniatures. These guys are truly miniatures. His daddy comes up to my waist. He's going to be about the same. Um, for a miniature Hertford, this is about the build you want. This is the, the style you would want for your little farm. As you can see, he's docile. If he, if he was worked with quite a bit more on the halter, I think he would be just fine. He'd be a great starter calf for somebody to work on him. Another thing I like about the Hertfords, they, the calm demeanor. I mean, he's not really been a halter trained very much or on a halter very much. And look at his demeanor. He's calm. He's laid back. Will he throw a little temper tantrum if he doesn't like something? Absolutely. He's like a little kid. But he'll get used to it. He will definitely get used to it. These are good animals. They're awesome. Piper runs around them, plays on them. Um, we can walk between anybody in our herd. And uh, nobody's mean. Nobody gets aggravated. He's aggravated because he's got flies on him. But... If you're looking for a miniature Hertford or looking to get your little, get you a starter herd, I do have Jojo the mini Hertford bull. He's going to be for sale. I'll post him up online. Got great bloodlines. And I have two other cows here. One of them falls, one of them falls on the micro mini size. She's real tiny, but she's not related to him. She's about three years old. She's going to be up for sale. And there's another one that's just a little bit bigger than her that I'm gonna put up for sale as well. So I'll have a, this little bull here and two heifers that are about three years old that'll be up for sale. And hopefully they move on to a new pasture or somebody to start their new little miniature Hertford herd and uh, make somebody else's farm happy. But that's all I got for uh, Jojo the mini cow. We're gonna hang out here a little bit as you uh, will see in another video. I'm actually working on hay today. And let me tell you a quick story. I'm working on hay and you'll see that in another video i haltered jojo yesterday and got him in our stanchion here got him haltered was working on him yesterday and this little booger threw a fit and i worked with him for about three hours i finally thought he was where he could be but this little character smart i had him tied up loosely and he unbound the rope off the fence and decided to wander the pasture well guess what he stayed about eight feet away from me, just far enough away from me to not get the rope. So this, this afternoon, we were able to feed him, get him some food, and uh, I lured him in and was able to get the, get the rope <clears throat> caught and got him caught. I know them flies are bugging me. But uh, 
So we got him haltered. He's doing good. He's a good boy. But uh, that's all we got for uh, this little short episode of Kirchberg Mini Farms. Again, JoJo the mini cow. It's going to be up for sale as well as two, uh, two heifers that are not related in no way, shape, or fashion. So it'd be great for a starter herd. But uh, that's all we got. If you haven't done so, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. And we'll see you next time on Kirchberg Mini Farms. Bye. Hey, Wilbur! That's my buddy. Hey, Wilbur. You tell JoJo to tighten up.